What is up guys? Welcome back to Offroad Diaries. If you're new to the channel, I am Krista. This is little Miles there. He's really working hard. And then you've got Jonathan right there. And we are back in the shop and we are continuing the Patty Mayokover. <laughs> the Patty Makeover. Mayokover. See what I did there? <laughs> It's like the shirt formation, but for Patty Mayo. So there she is in all her glory. Jonathan's working hard. He's doing good. We got some wheels over here. Carbon fiber wheels with the orange. What are those called? Like the inset? Because they're three piece wheels, right? Yeah, the center. The center. Look at that. Ooh, look how much. So you got that. Big difference big difference. So Jonathan's working hard on giving Patty Mayo a little facelift. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of it. I'm saying it in my head, Patty Mayo over Patty Mayo. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, you know, whatever. So me and Miles are here in the shop. We're just supervising. If you're new to the channel, you probably haven't seen us yet because we have been in our own little zone, just trying to get used to life and figuring everything out with a baby. It's a lot. So Jonathan has been literally the man making these videos recording videos putting them together getting them posted and he's bringing all the entertainment for y'all i will be that i'll be back though i'll be back i'm still here i didn't go anywhere i'm here i'm just trying to get situated so we have utv invasion in less than two weeks literally uh less than a week right next week so this video will drop Sunday, which means Tuesday will be in St. Anthony, which is super exciting. I'm hoping I can ride. We'll see how I feel. And then we have UTV Takeover after that. We're heading to Winchester Bay, Oregon. And I'm so, so excited for UTV Takeover because we get to catch up with all of our Takeover family because we didn't go to UTV Takeover Cruise Bay because I was still very, very pregnant and wasn't sure if I was gonna go into labor. Turns out we could have gone the whole time. We didn't, it is what it is. So we will be at Winchester Bay. Let us know down in the comments if we're gonna see you at UTV Invasion or UTV Takeover Winchester Bay. We're so excited. And then after that, it's the rest of the year. Of course, we've got UTV Takeover in October. That's in Sand Hollow State Park in Southern Utah. That's a big deal for us. And then we head down to Camp Razor after that. And somebody reached out to us and told us about a Mojave Desert ride. So we may slide into that in between Takeover at Sand Hollow and Glamis for Camp Razor. So we'll keep you posted. But we're waiting for, is that Hunter? Yeah. Oh. He finally showed up. We have a master vinyl layer here. I didn't know there was a parade going on. So. Oh yes. Oh, it's the Box Elder County Fair. Yes, there is a parade that goes oh, on for about. I was like, you said they'll be here in ten minutes. Yeah, so I was like, go oh, yeah it's a five hundred mile parade, longest parade ever. Yeah, it's ridiculous. So we actually have a fair, a fair going on right now in our small town for our whole county. So Jonathan is working on Patty Mayo. What he's doing is trying to configure some some updates for her. He bought, he ordered some vinyl off of Amazon. So he's gonna play around with that with some designs. Uh, he's gotta put the wheels back together, put this piece and that piece for the back end back on, install the PRP seats. What else do you have to do at this point? He doesn't even know. I don't, I don't, it's a lot. Baby Miles is the master supervisor here. He is really working hard. So I guess enjoy some more Patty Makeover. The Patty so, Mayokover. I don't know. <laughs> here's where I'm at. Okay, so here's what I got. It's not big line stuff. I'm not trying to wrap the whole thing. I'm trying to use. So see how right here it's got it's got like this gray just kind of close to that. Yeah. And then this is more of like a chrome orange. Mm -hmm which depending on the light, it looks a lot more orange in the light, yeah. which is not really that, but it's still orange. Yeah. So whatever, I don't know. I don't know, I'm probably gonna take this off. Then I thought about just using cut tape mm -hmm. to go around, but it doesn't necessarily, I don't know. And then I wanna do this back here. So I kinda wanna go like, I don't know which color order, but kinda like bam, bam. Yeah, anybody has a Cricut? I mean, I have a vinyl cutter. But does it cut, uh, like letter, because um, I want to get off-road diaries, but I want to do it in 
and mm -hmm. like that stuff. Yeah, okay. and then I want to do the play button in this color, okay. and then a black. Does that make sense? Like I have all the, the vector versions of this. Oh stuff. yeah, if you have the vector files, then all I have to do is plug them in, and like my plug them into my software, and then the software will send it from that to the plotter, and it'll just cut whatever whatever your vector file gives it. Uh, okay. Yeah. Good. That's good. But you guys. Go to Hunter's business if you want your windows tinted. He did ours at our RV park. It's freaking amazing. It's called the Shade Shop. It's an awesome shop. Are you shop. sure that's what the name is? Because last time you didn't know what the name was. It's the Shade Shop. I don't even remember like, my friend's name sometimes. Like, I'm terrible with names. But like, go give Hunter some love. If you want your windows tinted commercially, auto, it doesn't matter. What do you call it? Architecturally? Oh, yeah. Commercial. Uh, and let me tell you what that means for you guys that don't know what it means. It means a building. All right, I didn't even know that. So, <laughs> anyways, go give Hunter some love because he's helping us out. But, yes, so what I was thinking is here, we go there, go there, go there, and then just put Pro R, but in the AM? Yeah. Or you want to like replace? Do you have black band up on it? Uh, I, maybe a little bit. Okay. Yeah. I don't really need I much. probably have enough to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, what we could do, if you're wanting to like replace this, I mean, it would be kind of a pain doing it. Like, it would honestly be kind of a pain trying to do it with like the, like a 3M like design line tape. But like, I could take a close picture of this, and then we could take some measurements on it, and then at that point, then we could kind of cut it with the plotter to get it pretty close. You gotta do that. Or yeah, I mean, I could yeah. Basically, I just put the picture in and then vectorize the whole thing. <laughs> shh, shh, shh. We'll be back. There's like no stretch to this. No, either. no. For you guys that are um, want to do cool projects to your car, probably don't spend eleven ninety nine on the vinyl because <laughs> <laughs> your result is probably going to be. But this is I don't know. Maybe it's just a test run for now. We got a cool idea that we're trying. This is not what it's going to ultimately look like. It will be kind of cool, I think, when it's done. Or maybe it won't, and we'll just tear it off. With the paint, the brand new paint. Hunter said that the paint's probably going to come off when we pull it off. It should be fine. It should be fine. That, you know what it means when women say it should be fine? Uh, or it's fine? Yeah. That's that's what it's scares kind of what me. We're, what we're doing, yeah. That scares we're me. Right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, more updates to come. Give me about 20 minutes.
Okay guys, it's now Saturday. I, I'm sure that most of you know this, but I just kind of patch together all the footage I get when I get a chance to come in here and work. Probably looks like I just work at the shop all day long and I don't. Uh, but yeah, got the MB Whip pod lights on. Let's see if they work. And, which they should, Let's see why they wouldn't. But, ah, there we go. I don't know. Yeah, those suckers are pretty bright. Pretty darn bright. If you guys want a set of these pod lights, uh, I'll definitely try to show you guys what they look like when it's a little bit darker. This is kind of an alternative to Baja stuff. Um, Matt with MB Whips does not tell you guys that his stuff is brighter than Baja, but it's better quality than like an Amazon light or something like that. Uh, they do look pretty darn rad on there. Next step, we got the carbon fiber wheels. I'm gonna jump on and do a little bit more vinyl wrapping. Jack is over here helping me with the wheels. These are the insides. I didn't get them cleared because there's just there's no reason to get the insides clear. Nobody's ever gonna see them anyways. Um, not really. And But we did get the outsides clear, so Jack's gonna drill some holes in very carefully into the front barrels of these wheels and hopefully we don't mess up the carbon fiber so oh man so much else to do guys the video is not going to show you guys the car completely finished but it's going to give you all a good idea and then after that the next video is going to be us just packing up getting ready to go getting the invasion going on this awesome long adventure that we're going to take we're so excited colton was going to go with us to take over he had some big things come up that kind of changed the whole direction uh, but it is going to be me and Krista and Greg and Libby uh, going out to take over to represent from the Utah crew. In the meantime, I'm just going to keep working on this girl and try to get her done. Miles and I are here just checking in. We're seeing what the progress is. And it's looking good! We now have this on here. A little red, orange, and gray. Look at them. They did a good job. So now Jonathan's got this piece off. So he's going to put some in between those little holes there. You can see where my finger's going. Some more colors, red, orange, and gray. So what do you think, Miles? What do you think? Do you approve of this adventure? Do you care? <laughs> I know, he cares about sea boys. Look at Daddy. Look at him go. He's just making it pretty. Did you tell everybody you went to your first fair last night? And you rode the merry-go-round? And it was way faster than a merry-go-round should go. <laughs> Woo! That was fast. So, we got some color up here. This side's still a little naked, but we're making progress. We're making progress. We got today, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, three days. Three days before we leave to head north to go to Idaho Dunes RV Park. We got a spot there for us so we can go have fun at Invasion. And then we're going to take over in Winchester. Are you so excited, Miles? Are you so excited? <laughs> chunk. We got chunk. <laughs> okay, here's the consensus. Bam! Yes no? I like it. I can't tell because I can't step away from it. Here, um, you hold the baby. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed right now. I have more things on my head than I do, I could physically do. Consensus is we're not sure about all the colors, so Jonathan's gonna try something else. What do you think, babe? Well, the only way you can know is if you try. That's true. That's and I true. tried, and I'm not a fan of it. He doesn't like it. He doesn't like it. Luckily, he didn't spend a lot of money, so it's not like we're wasting. I mean, we are. It's not like look at that. The little we're wasting tiny little squares. So we're thinking maybe the metallic orange. So we might try that and see for a little pop under the orange, but. Jo uh, Jonathan, I keep calling Miles Jonathan because he's literally Jonathan's mini. But we're gonna head back to the house. We're gonna go get our Starling set up. See if we can get that set up. So have fun. From the boat, from the washer, and then it's going with um, a lock knot, lock washer. Yeah. So like this, like this, 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 and this. All right, so that's what you've got right there. So we're putting the PRP seats together. We're cut. I'm like all over the place. I uh, Jack is throwing the brackets down the bottom, on the bottom of these PRP seats. 
Um, luckily, they're a lot easier than the Maverick R seats. Uh, same seats, just different bracketry. Uh, these come with the bottom bracket that goes in. I'll show you guys. Yeah. That goes in. So this is the base. It goes in just like a regular Pro R, Pro X boot seat. Like that. If I can. There we go. And then it just, whoop. See? So that is just like the regular seat. So this will be super easy. On Mike's car, you had to bring the bolts in from the bottom because KM still has not made a quick release seat, which is crazy to me. But yeah, so we're gonna put these brackets in. We're gonna see if I can make these seats work. I'm a big tall person, so we'll see what happens. Meanwhile, I'm over here on this side because these things, these wonderful, amazing things, I accidentally pushed them forward in there and forgot and put this whole thing back together. That was a mistake on my end. Oh, it's getting to be crunch time and I'm starting to get tired. I gave up on this. I don't want to say I gave up. I just couldn't get the look that I was going after. And I was like, you know what? It's beautiful and blue. And we'll just leave it that way. We'll do this thing on the back there. And we're, next thing we're doing is we're putting on these uh, rock sliders. My mind is going 80 miles per hour. I can't keep up with anything. Oh, check this out though. Me and Jack got this wheel back together. Jack drilled all of the holes for these and managed not to break the carbon fiber, but those turned out pretty awesome. I like those. Onward we go. Well, the story gets sad. Unfortunately, these PRP seats are way too tall and my cage is, it's low. It fits fine with me in a regular uh, Pro R seat, but I have to figure out a way to lower this base. And I don't really know what to do because this bar goes there to there. I've seen a video somewhere of somebody doing it, but there's really, I, I don't know what to do. So, for you guys with low cages, I would appreciate tips down below in the comments section. That would be awesome. And I want to reiterate a positive message because I'm living in that moment right now of it. And I said like a few videos ago, it's all about that pivot. It sucks, but I'm not going to let it ruin my day. I really want these PRP seats in my car. Maybe I'll figure something out between now and when I leave. And maybe it isn't that hard. Maybe somebody sells a kit that's local. I'll figure that part out, but we're going to pivot. We're not going to stop. So back to here, I got to continue taking this part off and uh, get these get these things out and I think I'm gonna end the video here guys uh, pretty close to ready I am very close to ready now I've got to wash Patty Mayo we're gonna give her a spa day she needs a super good spa day so we're gonna wash Patty Mayo up uh, get her nice and detailed up and cleaned up I know it's interesting what else is interesting to me is I think that you guys that do the East Coast riding with all the mud and stuff y'all actually clean your rigs up uh, I, I'm asking that genuinely because I actually just don't know and I'm curious like uh, a lot of the guys that do the mudding I watch some of the stuff on WTF uh, off-road or whatever it is on uh, Facebook and most of those guys I think are East Coast at least from what I've seen and uh, do a lot of mudding so hmm or are you like me and you just gotta clean your car up I mean I will literally almost spray detail it every morning but the dunes it's really just sand hitting your car it's not really so much uh, dirt for the most part but patty mayo she's looking good i got to do the decal on this side the way i did it on the other and after that she'll be getting close to ready thank you guys for all the love all support this has just been kind of a follow along video um i'm going to do a whip install video tomorrow for mb whips and then I'm going to do, uh, and that'll be pretty much it for Patty Mayo. She'll be pretty close to ready and we'll have all the tires. So you guys will see the finished product soon. Uh, for you that won't be an invasion or takeover, I'll drop a nice video probably when, next this coming up Wednesday or this coming up Sunday that'll show the end result. But like I said, all that gloss on that carbon fiber. We did all the centers in orange. I'm, I'm excited. She's coming together. She's going to look great. We appreciate you guys so much. Make sure to go down below and check out all the people that we work with. They're amazing. And uh, 
thank you guys. Thank you all from the bottom of my heart and Krista's heart and baby Miles. We love y'all so much. We'll see you on Wednesday's video and we're starting to go into the fun guys. We're gonna start getting into the action. I know Chris is gonna try our hardest to help out a little bit with the editing, but just hang tight guys, doing everything I can. And uh, I'm gonna bring you guys a lot of awesome stuff here over the next couple months. It's gonna be good. So, okay, love you, bye.